I'm going to ask TransCanada to renew its permit application for the Keystone Pipeline. By the way, I might also be asking for a big piece of the profits from that so that the American people can get some more money out of it. Does that make sense? Why not? Well, that was presumptive Republican nominee Donald Trump vowing to undo Obama's environmental agenda. And why not make a profit for the people? But Trump's plan to resurrect uh, this Keystone Pipeline hit a roadblock today when TransCanada, the company that holds the uh, rights to build the pipeline, said it would not approve Trump's proposal. Joining me now, Peter Morisi, Shelby Holliday, and Tom Pyle of, of the Institute of Energy Research. Tom, I'll start with you. Hey, listen, the pipeline cuts across the entire country. Why can't we get a piece of the action? Well, I think that'll work itself out in the end. I think the bottom line and the most important thing there is is that the that Mr. Trump said, "Bring the application to me and we will get it approved." He'll do the deal. Uh, this president stonewalled the pipeline and all of the economic benefits for families for 7 years, dragged his feet and then said no after he got reelected. So, I was pleased with the overall direction that Mr. Trump wants to go with respect to energy policy. It's mainstream, it's main street. And it makes a lot of sense. But, Tom, it sounds like you would like to even hear more. Absolutely. The devil's always in the details. But, but really, he set the tone yesterday and said, I'm going to end the Obama climate regs. I'm going to go ahead and unleash our, our potential and our oil and gas resources in this country. And the American people are going to get back in the game with respect to, to production on federal lands. It's their land. Right. They should be part of that. You know, interesting, Shelby, a lot of people don't realize we're the number one oil producer in the world, even ahead of Saudi Arabia, and unleashing our potential. President Obama, the leases have been cut under him, at least on public lands. What, what kind of, give us an idea, the scope of how big this could be. I mean, we don't, we could really reduce our dependence on farm oil dramatically. We absolutely could, and we have, over the past 10 years, doubled our energy production. Um, so our country is headed in the right way, but Trump, the most important thing about this energy speech is that Trump stayed on message, America first, uh, a powerful quote I thought that came from it is he said, this is your treasure and you are entitled to the riches. That speaks directly to his supporters who, who believe we have this wealth, we have this treasure, we should benefit from it. 